My mom nilikuwa kwa mgongo yake tukafika pale Blue Post. Unaona pale Blue Post hapo kwa hiyo mto iko hapo. Mm. My mom akaniambia ama tufanye kitu moja ni kurushe kwa hii mto na mimi nijirushe tusahau. Aliniambia I know nimemaliza ngurue nimemaliza duka but ninajua kuna kuku 50 ambazo umebakisha hizo kuku 50 uziheshimu uzipende na utaenda mbali nazo and after 3 days my mom nikimpeleka KU akapas hizo kuku kuku moja zinafaa kutaga 3 trays mm-hmm. per day tray moja tuuse na the cheapest price yes for for that for that 1290 1290 sawa yes. hapa niko na kuku 1000 so times 10 yes so you get around 187 yes. in a month in a month you need like 190 hapo in a month umesema the mm. biggest beneficiary right now kwa hii economy watakuwa mm. farmers that is but the for the longest time watu wamekuwa wakidharau kazi kama hii because the because hawa kwa na strategy yes People will complain about the government. That is real. But those people will not will not complain. They are farmers. Muna kafunga. Wana fraishi wana sana na my son. He's proud of me the way I am. Hakuna siku amai niuliza nini ulifanya miguu. Lakini kitokea uko kwa barabara kwa kanisa, niko kwa kanisa unasikia anga watoto wanakuja na kuangalia fani, wanakuuliza nini ulifanya. Na wewe unawaambia vizuri ni kuvunjika ili umalize mm, story. Your story. So trust the process One day your life is gonna change Keep on believing You will be better than before So trust the process Guys, welcome to today's episode of Inspire Global. My name is Lynn Gugi and I'm standing outside uh, the gate of our guest today who is about to inspire us with his story. And the reason why I'm standing here, you can imagine in this space holds his home and also he has chicken suko nyuma and in just this small space he's able to make a cool 180,000 shillings in profit and what he mentioned when we were doing the show was the importance of having a strategy even for farmers and he kept saying lean everything happens for a reason and though he went through so much as a kid and his mother also went through so much you can see how he story turned out he will inspire you and i keep saying kwa he inspire global no matter what your hustle is i need you guys to be proud of it because we say there is no shame there is no shame in your hustle or no shame in your hard work and i love that he trusted the process and guess who else is trusting the process with us here at LNN i have to say thank you so much to our incredible partners at Maridadi Motors Asante sana team Eric and all the guys at Maridadi for everything you do for supporting us through these shows and i keep saying if you guys want to get yourself a car i love that i met a fan of mine and he got a ford so that was really huge for me so if you want to import a car why don't you try team maridadi and if you want to take people you know your relatives your kid or yourself for a driving school go and try maridadi driving school if you want to invest with them they have a very beautiful invest 
treatment plan for you na kama pia unataka kupeleka gari yako yoshwe carpet yoshwe duvet yoshwe why don't you try sparkling and also to say congratulations once again team maridadi for winning big this year you deserve it and even my guest today has some really kind words for you i can't wait for you to hear so take your note uh, take your pen let's put some pointers down i want to know what your take home is from today's conversation on the comment section and i keep saying no matter where you are guys think 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 hakuna place yenye tuwezi mekia pesa and i love this farming shows because now they are teaching us hakuna kitu uwezi fanya give up that mentality of white collar jobs and try doing something similar to what francis is doing so be inspired this is inspire global at lnn i enjoy the show at wangu my name is francis mudore mm. francis mudore is a guy born with a disability all the way from gatanga many people know me from gatanga na rin kulingana venye watu wanazaliwa sometime inakuanga very difficult yes. wakati wenye mtu amezaliwa kwa na disability i was born with disability and my disability it is through a cause of called uh, polio yeah. na polio ni ile unapata nerves hazina nguvu and we started that journey journey ambayo ilikuwa ngumu sana mm. but after my birth divorce ikapatikana so mtoto akizaliwa na ulemavu wazazi wawili kushikani na kuanga ngumu sana because unahitaji a lot and uh, kutoka hapo my mama akawa yuko pamoja na my father so nikawa ni kulewa ninalewa yeah. na it was very tough hey. because that i remember there was a time kuna mtu alikuja nyumbani hawa wenye huwa wana ubili akasema nianze ku, niombewe nianze kutembea na miguu juu ya mashida zenye nilikuwa nimepitia mm. but as a young as a young child I was able to kumwambia I believe that sasa hiyo nilikuwa nimejua kwenda kanisa. Hey. So nikamwambia I believe that we are created at a god image. So I don't see the need ya mimi kubadilika cause nikibadilika nitashindwa na kuwa na represent uh-huh. image gani. Yes. Na huyo muhubiri alistuka sana. Na from that day nikaanza kujipenda. Okay. Na life ikaendelea mm. pole pole. Mtu akizaliwa na ulemavu inakuanga ngumu sana hata kutembea. I used to to crawl chini. Nikatoa mguu naweza sina kidole moja mm. kwa sababu ilikatwa wakati wenye nilikuwa natembelea chini. Mm-hmm. Na nilipomaliza ile masomo nilipomaliza kus, ku, kulewa ikafika wakati wa kwenda shule ikawa ngumu lakini later on nikafanywa Harambe mm. na tukaenda Joy Town Special School. Mm. Joy Town Special School iko hapa Thika na tukaenda tukaanza kusoma. Nikaanza hapo j- nursery. Okay. Kutoka hapo nursery nikasoma nursery hadi class 6. Nilipofika class 6 pesa ikakosekana na sasa hii pesa ikikosekana yes. mama na dad wa medivos Wali di- nani my, my mom waliachana na my father eh. nikiwa na wiki moja who left oh, mzee akaenda oh yes sasa tukawa ni madhe na nilea eh. so tukawa tunasukuma maisha pole pole but that is what i was told mm. uh, cuz nilizaliwa pale Kenyatta hospital mm-hmm. so tukasoma kutoka nasali hadi class 6 Tupofika class 6 masomo ikawa expensive hmm. na my mama akakosa pesa. Ikabidi ni drop shule, nikaenda nyumbani. Nilipoenda nyumbani sasa huko Kegio. Nikakaa kwa muda sana. During that time, ukumbuke during all that time nilikuwa na, na crawl chini. Hmm. Nilikuwa natembelea chini. Hmm. Nilikuwa nimejaa vidonda. Hata ziko ninatembea na na nini na crutches. Yes. Na wakati wenye nilienda nyumbani Uh, before turudi shule sasa hiyo ni kuwa class 6. Mm. My mom ni kuwa kwa mgongo yake tukafika pale Blue Post. Unaona pale Blue Post hapo kwa hiyo mtu iko hapo. Mm. My mom akaniambia alikuwa amepigwa simu na mwalimu akuje atuoni tukirudi shule tena. Lakini akaona apridi na wao nirudi shule. So hata hiyo time tukirudi aduko tunajua kama tunaenda kuchukuliwa. Mm. Cuz already tulikuwa fee structure pesa ilikuwa mingi. Na tukiwa hapo kwa mto my mom akaniambia ama tufanye kitu moja nikurushe kwa hii mto na mimi nijirushe tusahau juu sioni kama venye utasoma tena and i remember i told my mom everything happened with the reason kuna reason wakati wenye tulikuwa tunasoma kutoka nursery hadi class 6 na sasa imesindikana so what we are supposed to do tuendelee na shule Mungu atakuja na hata tukifika tufukuzwe mimi ni kurudi kukaa nyumbani na nilikuwa kwa mgongo wa my mom alilia sana na kusema kweli yako nitupa hmm. na tukaenda na tukarudi nyumbani saa kurudi nyumbani masomo imesindikana joy town sasa nikae nyumbani nikakaa nyumbani 
for duration of almost one year. Nikuwa nyumbani one day kuzi nilikuwa na kapa hali mamu wakifanya kazi na uko kwa mashamba. Na, na uko katanga watu huwa nalima sana mm. kahawa. Mm. So my mom na my grandfather na shosho wakua menda kuteka kahawa na uko chini. Nikapata miti ya hizi cyplas. Nikachukua blanchi mbili. Nikasimama nazo hivo. And from that day in, nikaanza kuwa kuna crutches. Mm. So niliposimama. My mom walipotoka huko shamba wakapata na tembea wakaniuliza cuz they used to kuniweka kwa ka cube. Wakapata sasa nimetoka kwa ka cube nimetoka from one point to another. Mm. Waliponiuliza venye nimeenda nikawaonyesha. So kutoka hapo nikaanza kutembea na ito to meet nikijisupport. Yeah. All of a sudden kukawa na jama fulani tuko mm. nimekuwa nimejifunza mambo na radio kutengeneza radio. Mm. So kuna mtu aliniita kufix wires. Kufix wire, kufunguanisha <laughs> radio na kurudisha. Na Wali, wakati ya li niita sasa na kuambia ni kwa around kitu class 6 yes. nimemaliza nimekosa kusoma. Alipo niita huko kwake kutengeneza alikuwa wanarobi hospital. Mm. One day kuna wakati alikuwa mevunjika mgu akawa na crutches. So alipo maliza kuteng, nilipo maliza kutengeneza radio nikienda kwa store yake nikapata crutches. Kwa some of the apparatus za radio zilikuwa ukondani. Mm. Alipo jaribu kunilipa kazi nye nimefanya nikamuambia mimi hata staki pesa. Ningetaka unisaidia na hizo crutches. So waka nisaidia na those crutches. Mm. Na from that day nikaanza kutembea na crutches. Mm. So niliporudi nyumbani. Nikaambia mamu now I'm stable. Kutembea na crutches. But now the problem was. Si ingeza kufaa kiatu. Junikuwa ni meja vidonda. So one day ukawa na missionary hospital. Mm. Pare, pale ma, 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 nini huku matu. Mm -hmm. Na lipoenda ni katibiwa vidonda zikapona. Zilipona within a three months. Vidonda ambazo zilikuwa zimeka sana. Forever. So after that my mom sasa ni kamuambia. Nao nimepona. Haka niluza what is next. Mm. What next. Mm. Ni kamuambia nao kitu enye ningetaka. Ni uniombe shule njiko karibu. Nyeze nione kama nitaenda kuenda mm. shule. It was very difficult and challenging. Kukumix sasa able body na disabled by that time. Wakati enye nilienda shule. Headmaster akasema itakuwa ngumu sana. Karikila mahiru husu uh, disabled people wasome na able body. Mm. Kwa sababu the problem uyu, ki, uyu disabled atajitharau na atajichukia. Mm. So wakidiscuss hapo kwa, kwa ofisi ni kithani sasa shida imeisha ni kasikia maadhea mewaambia. Hapana uyu wangu ataweza. So nikatoka hapo kwa staff room nikaingia ndani. Yeah. Nikawambia ayopu muna discuss kuni husu. Mimi ni mina taka kusoma. Na niko ready kusoma. Mm. Asa ningeomba unipe tu chance. So wakati wenye headmistress alisikia hivo. Haka kubari nisome. So nika join kegio primary. Mm. Nikaenda class 6. Na class 7. Na class 8. Good. Nilipomaliza class 8. Mashida iniachangi. From there nikakosa pesa ya kwenda secondary. Not even ya secondary hata ya kutahiri. Nikakosa. Nikakaa nyumbani mwaka moja na nusu. After hiyo mwaka moja. Tukafanya harambi. Nikapata pesa ya kutahiri na ya kujoin form 1. Nikafanya form 1, form 2, form 3, form 4. Nikatoka na sima inazi. Congrats. Nipotoka na sima inazi, nikaona bado zijaridhika. Mm. Nikarudi. Mm. At first nikuwa nimetoka na D+. Wakati nirudi, nikaongezea bidi, nikatoka na sima inazi. Nipotoka na sima inazi, nikaona sasa pesa hakuna ya kuenda kuproceed. Mm. So one day, Wakati wenye nikaona vitu yenye nitafanya wacha nifanye mambo na computer. Nikaenda kilora polytechnic nikitumia wheelchair. Mm. Because after kumaliza, form, after kumaliza class 8, one of my friend ambaye mm. alikuwa family friend alikuja nyumbani. Nikawa that time natembea na crutches. Lakini nikuwa natamani sana kupata wheelchair tricycle. Mm. Which it was very expensive. Mm. So one day wakati wenye alikuwa mekuja nyumbani alikuwa naitua John Moshai. Alipo kuja nyumbani. Akaona sifrai kama watu wale wengine. Unajua watoto wale wengine wakiletua biscuit na nini wanafrai. Mm. Saka niuliza nini naiza kufraisha. Nika muambia naiza taka wili chiatri saiko. So wa, on Friday ambayo ilifuata. Haka nembea mm -hmm. Na kwa sababu alikuwa na gari na music kubwa. Sasa nikasikia music. Nikaanza kufraia. Alipokuja kantolea hiyo hiyo chia. And from that day my life started changing. Yeah. So wakati wenye niliingia secondary. I was using the same wili chia. So after finishing the, the secondary. Sina pesa ya kwenda campus. Nilichukua that wheelchair. Nikaanza kurisha ngombe. So nikuwa naenda na chuna majani. Na keti nikifika pali kuna nyasi. Na keti chini. I just cut the glass. And then pack on my wheelchair. Then I go. Mm. Nikafanya hiyo kazi pole 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 pole. 
Uh, kuna pesa nilikuwa nimetumia na mtu 200 kwa success card wakati wenye mtu anaenda unaangalia. Hiyo mm. 200 nikaenda nikanunua paraffin na nikanunua some snacks. Pale kato dipu zile za kitambo nikaketi hapo nikaanza kuuza. So nilipoendelea kuuza mm. nikafikilia naweza fungua sasa duka. Mm-hmm. Juu nimeshindwa kwenda Corinth. Mm. Lakini pale nilikuwa na ngombe ambayo nalisha na sungura. So wakati wenye niliona pesa hakuna nikasema nifungue shop. Nilipoenda penye nilienda nikafungua shop. Lee nilifanya hiyo shop for almost two weeks. Huyu mama mwenye alikuwa amenikondisha one day nikapata ameifunga. Nikamuuliza reason na iko na vitu kila kitu hapo. Akaniambia nikitengeneza radio zitipika kelele. So ikawa tena nimefungwa, hakuna penye naweza proceed. Ikafungwa, shop nikawa sina shop, tukaanza kesi. Tulipoanza kesi wa chief na wa police wenye tulikuwa tunatumia tukatumia kwa muda tukaongea na wao for long but later alone huyu mama akasema i'm ready to pay francis mm. to compensate francis ile pesa yenye ametumia mm. according to valuation he was supposed to give me 70000 70 to 50000 but now the problem came wakati wenye nilimuuliza aliulizwa utamlipa aje akasema i'll be paying 200 per month and you just tell me bob. yes 200 200 bob per month sasa so, nikajiuliza 200 bob from hiyo time kufika hadi hiyo 50000 ita take time mm. so mimi nilimwambia nipatie hiyo 200 tukilikuwa na kesi na my mom my mom akaanza kulia nikaambia mom don't worry i have been telling you everything happened with the reason there was a reason for me kufika wapi hapo na wakati wenye nilikuwa ninaenda nyumbani sasa roho yangu ilikuwa chini sana i was very down nikaenda nikabomoa everything that i had constructed and i took it at my place mm. home Now nikawa I don't have shop I have nothing. So when I was going uh, at shopping center I found one of a big car. By that time it was a Mercedes Benz. Mm. Madam akateremsha kio. Kaniuliza ninaona kama umeboeka what is wrong? Nikamwambia uh, nilikuwa na kazi fulani na sasa nimeshindwa. Mm. Nimefunga kanipatia 1000. Kaniuliza how can I help you? So from there akaniambia nimfuate angeweza kunibeba na gari juko na niko na wheelchair wheelchair we are talking about the three cycle mm. nikamfuata tulipofika nyumbani akaniuliza nini na nini ushaifanya mwambie nimemaliza form 4 wow. lakini sijaweza kusoma mm. kaniuliza ungetaka kufanya nini kamwambia ningetaka kufanya accounts so akaniambia shika, ni akaniongezea elfu zingine mbili akaniambia take this money tomorrow enda utafute shule na ukipata shule uniambie wow. so the most surprising thing ilikuwa shock to my mom kumwambia nimepata mtu wa kunisome kukusomesha my mom haku believe lakini let alone akakubali yeah. so ilibidi tuuze zile vitu zote tulikuwa nazo tukauza ngombe tukauza sungula na hiyo pesa yote tukatunua materials za kwenda mm. ili kuanza shule mm. and then we started our journey tukaenda Vika school uh, Vika college of banking lakini now the problem is tulipopata tulipopata shule tumepewa fee structure hadi pesa ya hostel nikapiga ile simu yenye nilikuwa nimeambiwa nilipopiga kutoka saa moja asubuhi tulikuwa tumefika thika tulikuwa tumepewa fee structure by saa mbili wow. simu haiendi tumeuza kila kitu my mama akaanza complain akaanza kuniambia Francis sasa unaona uliamini mtu na ujui kama atakusaidia nikamwambia pana everything happens, happens for a reason. reason so the moment tulikuwa tumekaa kwa hoteli tuwaka kwa hoteli kutoka asubuhi kutoka saa moja hadi kitu saa moja ya jioni hatujakula kitu juu pesa yenye tulikuwa tumenunua matris, manguo unaona mtu ageshagi sasa ukimnunulia nguo <laughs> hakuna kitu tumebaki nacho saa tuko nyumbani tuko hapo kwa hoteli mzee mmoja akaingia round kitu saa nane. akasema watu nimeliona hapa kutoka asubuhi na wajakula kitu hata kama ni kutupa watatupa wapatie so lean tukapewa chakula kitu saa tisa na mtu wa hoteli ya yes. atufukuzi eh. na snacks eh. after kukula ndio tukapata another nguvu sasa ya kujaribu kupiga ile Tena. simu so tukapiga simu haiendi nikafikilia what if i send a message so i decided to send a message to mm. that number mm. after sending a message ndio nikaona amenipigia akaniuliza mko wapi i told her that we are at thika mm. Already we have gotten the visa structure we are supposed to be having 30000 tuanze shule. Yes. Akaniambia I'm very sorry nilienda mkutano nikawa head up. So give me few minutes. Does this number have Mpesa? Nikasema ndio. 
believe me or not within a fraction of second nikasikia message imeingia tukapata 50000 my mom was not believing even alikuwa almost to faint so from there tukaenda tukachukua nikalipa orange mm-hmm. na nikalipa hostel mm-hmm. the 20000 nikapatia my mom so hapo ndio alianza ku believe what i have been telling her that everything happen with a reason there is a reason yes. so i started a journey of orange nikasoma the college of banking na wakati wenyewe niliendelea kusoma soma hivi nikapata kuna marathon zinakimbiwa za standard chartered marathon 2015 mm. 2015 nikaenda nikakimbia it was my first time kukimbia na wilcha 42 kilometers and uh, it also good to address for those people who are standard chartered marathon because from that time when yeye nilikimbia hakujai kuwa na tricycle tena waliweka wilcha at least mm. and you know the tricycle it really helped me and also it can help other people there so it, because i know they can see this video due to your courtesy kindly they can return that which are lesson mm. using a tricycle mm. because it is the one that made me who i am today mm. for so, people who might not understand tricycle tricycle it is the wheelchair that you use for your yeah, three wheelers mm. three wheelers but you have a chain to yes. move this way yes so after that when i participated i was able to become f- number 4 mm. countrywide and the way you have your media medias from ktn citizen they yes. came and then they asked they started asking me how have you bec- how was the race yeah for how long have you trained and i told them it is my first time i have never trained but i had a, mi- a vision mm. and a passion mm. for the race so after the race they took my pictures and put them put them in the newspaper and then wakaniuliza which county do i represent by that time i was representing kiambu county mm. And the governor who was in seat was William Kabogo. Mm. So after me going viral through the newspaper, he decided to fetch me where I am. And then I went in the office and then we started discussion with him. And I told him, uh, I have done accounts, CPAs, but I don't have job. And also I have not finished my education. Mm. So what I could uh, need from your chance Whenever you have an interview just call me. Staki ile kusema ati nilihurumiwa hapana. Yes. Give me an opportunity. Mm. And that is what happened mm. after one year. Waiting is good. After one year one I was year. called. Yes, after one year I was called for the interview. And um, among the people who are in interview you are about 40. I was position 1. Wow. And then I was employed as Kiambu County accountant wow. pare dhika wow. so that's where i've been working hata sasa hii ukiniita ukikuja eh. nilikuwa ninatoka kwa ofisi eh. nikaambia my boss niko na schedule niko nayo kanipea ruhusa so that we can come and take this interview yes. so i have been working there as an accountant kiambu county mm. uh, senior clerk officer hapo wow. ndipo nafanya kazi congrats francis thank you and um, from kwanza kusoma yeah. si kumaliza mambo na kukimbia na licha eh. So I continued participating in richer sports mm. and uh, right now as we are talking I'm the chairman 47 county wow or civil servant person with disability congrats recently I was in Meru I managed to be position 2 yes na ni juni nilikuwa na shida ya kifua mm. and uh, we are planning to go to Rwanda where I will be representing Kenya wow for the same sports yes that's why I was saying if started chartered marathon organizers mm. could know who they built from that lace hawange maliza and also it is a plea to me if they can hear this show they give pwd another chance mm. to participate in uh, tricycle lessons yes. and as well they combine with which yeah. lesson i know it will get to them yes, the message you. will yes so from there nikaanza yeah. kufanya kazi na maisha ikaendelea Now, uh, mashida ya bado zinaperekananga na mtu na maneno inakuwa mingi. So after a certain period kitu nimefanya kazi kutoka 2014 mm. two years ago. Uh, wakati wenyewe niliingia kazi kitu ya kwanza nilichukua loan. Ule mama yangu mwenye alikuwa amenilea na mashida nikachukua loan na nikamjengea. From there nikachukua another loan nikajijengea. Now a place called Kegio. Mm. Na nikaendelea na maisha nikifanya kazi ya accounts all of a sudden two years ago 
my mama kakwanjaka kansa. Ilikuwa jani ngumu sana. Na wakati wenye nilienda hospitali, nikauliza daktari, now because I have seen that, I have realized my mom is having cancer. Inaitaji pesa ngapi? And they told me, cancer, you need a budget between 2 million to 1.5 million. Lynn, it was very painful because I had to go to my account and I took a loan. Remember the loan that I'm taking ni ya kutumika kitu wapayo ita waeza rudi. Na nikatibu my mom mm. for two years. Hakuna yeah. hospitali Kenya siku mpeleka. Nili mpeleka KU. Nika mpeleka ya Zadhika level 5 Kiambu. Everywhere. And uh, because my mom alikuwa na mwili iko na nguvu one day nikaona health yake iko very di, imetremuka sana mm. na nikamuuliza akaniambia Francis what i know sasa hiyo Julie that time when i was treating my mom before cancer mm. i was doing pig farming and i was with more than 70 pigs mm. i also had a shop because i am blessed with a dear wife mwenye nilikuwa nimemwajiri pia yeye amesoma amefanya bcom wow but nikamwambia instead of us being employed in a different uh, organization mm. wacha you learn our project mm. so during that time we had a shop we had an mpesa we had a pigs farming and also some poultry so after those two years yeah. everything was drained mm. including pigs shop everything ilimalizwa na cancer na Uh, my mama alikuwa imebakisha wiki tatu wa pass aliniita akaniambia Francis nimekuwa nikikusa nime, umekuwa ukinisaidia na mimi nilikulea with disability na ningependa sana kuona maisha yako na hapo mbele but according to venye najisikia mwili yangu sioni nikienda sana it was very painful to me and i could not believe the words were coming from my mother mm. And nikamuliza why have you decided to say so? Akaniambia all I'm feeling uh, I don't I don't see my survival again. I have been used of a, ma, a valedi mwenye ako na nguvu energetic but now I'm very down. Mm. Uh, nikamwambia now what's the way forward? Akaniambia I know I have drained your pocket, I have drained your uh, farm and everything. But uh, na mimi nikamwambia you remember there was a time i told you that everything happened with a reason na nikakwambia usinitupe kwa mto nao nimekuwa nikikutibu gari nimekuwa nikikubeba na yangu kama tungekuwa na gari tungekuwa tunatumia pesa mingi sana akaniambia yes na ndio maana nimekuita nikwambie hii maneno hmm. so akaniambia what i will tell you i know nitaenda but nitakuacha wewe na sister ko we tuko wawili mm. me and my sister na akaniambia the most shocking thing aliniambia i know nimemaliza ngurue nimemaliza duka but ninajua kuna kuku 50 ambazo umebakisha hizo kuku 50 uziheshimu uzipende na utaenda mbali nazo and after three days my mom nikimpeleka ke you akapas sorry it was very painful sorry it was very painful for me to heal because mm. i was not believing mm. that now i've been left i'm disabled i have the family to take care my bank iko zero because of the loan yes na ikafika pahali lean even after the death of my mom ikafika pahali hata tunaweza lala nja na during that time atungeongea sana you naingia kwa boma yako unatulia na after a certain period one day nilikuwa nafagia kule my wife alikuwa huko kwa nyumba and my son mwenye umeona tukua huko ndani akachukua simu akachukua video alipochukua video when i was cleaning i used to clean my pottery house mm. because i believe disability is not inability good so when i was cleaning cleaning my son took a video And after finishing cleaning I had a time to look on what she, he was doing. And I viewed the video na nikaona iko smart. But I had one worry. 
I could not post because I don't know how people will take it. You know, remember the social media and that, those issues. But later on, I got courage and I decided to post the video. After posting, posting the video in my Facebook, the first call was from Loyal Media Services. They told me, we have seen you that you are doing a project and we have a program called Disabilities Not Disability. Mm. Uh, that is in Kikuyu mm. and we would like also to feature you. Mm. Will you mind? And I told them, there is no problem, you can come. So they sent a uh, naka like um, mm. Simon Kibe mm. who came and took the video. And then after sharing my number, it got for viral. So I realized that what when I touch. So one day when I was going to Bruce Springs, there was an event that I was yes. called by a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. I met uh, the uh, the popular guy, Karango Amuraya, Mr. Wonderful. I know yes, you know him. Yes. And when Mr. Karango watched me. Nice guy. Yes. He told me, I have, I have been seeing you in Facebook. And I have seen what you are doing. I want to support you. Wow. And I will support you in this way. Come in my farm. See what I can do with that farm. And then we went there. And we, uh, we took on and Tunezarisha Kuku. And the first, the first project, it was for Karangu wa Muraya. Nikamwekea kuku miambili and two cages. Na kaniambi, I will, I will not pay you the way other people pays you. Itakulipa vizuri. Mm. So, wow. he paid me. Wow. And from there, akanza kupost vitu zangi. Yes. Venye nimemwekea. Wow. From there, nikapata many calls from abroad. Watu nataka kuwafanyia project. Na hapo ndipo nilialize there is something in me. Na one day the same Karango connected me with, with Reverend Ben. Mm. Mudhe Kenge, you know yes. him. Nikaena nikawekea Pastor Ben. Nilipo muwekea pia yeye, akafraisho na kazi yangu waka post. Wow. So from there, and you imeenda viral mm. up to date. Yes. Penye umenipata. Mm. Now, um, what did I, did I choose and why do people wanataka nuwaonyesha hii ukurima? That's where the name Francis Wakuku came from. Mm. Na ndiyo enye imefanya ukuja uku. Yes. Kama Francis Wakuku. Mm. Na Francis Wakuku anafanya tu kazi ya ukulima. Mm. On top ya county government job, akwa hapa anafanya side hustle yes. ya ukulima. And I came to realize that our people from abroad, they are very willing to do, in, to do farming, but they don't have a strategy. Mm. I remember we have, we have come from covid post covid whereby hospitality industry was really affected the businesses were closed yes and then they realized that they are supposed to purchase plot and then come and construct yes. their houses and that is what they did they purchased plots and they start constructing their houses out of visiting those places wakaanza kujenga manyumba mm. uh, wakapata wana kitu ya kukula na hakuna project wanafanya remember wametoka Nairobi wamekuja hizi manyumba Na hapo ndipo nililialize wakulima wengi hawezi fanya ukulima. Because we used to do a, pro, a system called depreter method. Depreter method is where unaweka kuku chini, unaweka feeders, unaipea chakula. Remember kitambo when we were doing depreter method, one bag of feeds was going between 1500 to 2000. Mm. One tray of an egg was going between 180 to 200 shillings. Mm. So it was very easy to do the project. Anyone could do the project. Because even the plots that we were having, yes. they were many. And they were big. Mm. But after COVID, those plots were divided. Maybe an acre was divided with different peoples, 40 by 80. Mm. So the space of layering those birds, there is none there. Mm. And also when it come to issue of feeds, after COVID, chakula zipanda bei. Mm. So for today, one bag is going between 3,500 to 4,000. Uh. What does that tell us? It is very difficult for you doing pottery farming without a strategy. And uh, after realizing, I realized the best strategy to use is by using battery cage system. The one I've made you to come here. Yes. And also other people who have been coming. Mm. Battery cage system, it is a system whereby you enclose birds in one point, you feed them, you give them water, and then 
they produce eggs. Mm. It can also happen in broilers, whereby you put them, you feed them, and then they mature for meat. Mm. But now, what are their, the advantage of butter cage system? One, the, adva- the advantage of them, the issue of feeds. We have discussed about the challenges of the cost of the feeds. Yes. When you're using butter cage system, you use less feeds mm. compared to deep reader method. Mm. From there, you have those, uh, the, the birds, they are not affected with the diseases because they are not touching down. Mm. They are just elevated. Mm. Uh, when it comes to production of yeah. eggs, but they perform when they are, they are 1.5 kg. And uh, for you to maintain that 1.5 kg, you must control a few things. Mm. You must control sickness, stress, and also we must control feeding. Yes. For you to have good production. Mm. And uh, the only way that you can control all those things is through battery cage system. Because whenever birds are in deep litter, they make noise. Maybe predators, when uh, certain predator pairs are close, mm. they just uh, make noise. And when they are making noise, they try to hide themselves from yes. one point to another. During that time, they, got, they get stress. Mm. So the, product, the production there will just be reduced. Mm-hmm. When it comes to feeding them, when you are using a deep litter method, that water that fall down, after a few days, uh, it, uh, it brings some bacteria called, we call, we call mm. coccidiosis. Mm. So sometimes you may find your birds, mm. every now and then they are sick. And that's when I came with this battery cage system, whereby you need to put birds inside, you feed them, yeah. and uh, you water them, you will see them uh, how we water them. Yes. Then after that, you collect your eggs. Mm. So that is the project that the project that I'm doing. Yeah. And I have really helped many people, especially from abroad. Mm. As you are coming, as you are coming. Yes. Last week when you were calling me, I was in Kisumu. Mm, I remember delivering ten cages and one thousand birds mm. to a certain client who is in America. Mm-hmm. Few days ago, I was uh, at uh, Ethiopia delivering the same birds mm. and the cages. Mm. I have done another project here in Luai for, cover, for a client who is in South Sudan, 4,000 birds and the cages. Oh, yeah. Another one who is in UK here at Luai Afro Sayari, 3,000 birds and the cages. Mm. And also from different points. Where, where do you get the birds? The birds, I lay, I lay, I lay them yes. from a day old chick. Mm. I feed them and vaccinate them. Then I sell them. When they are remaining two months to lay. Okay. Yeah. Now here inside, yeah. how many chickens do you have? Uh this plot from of, fifty two. Yes. This plot of mine yes. is a very small plot. As you have seen the challenges that I have. Yeah. Ata kutembea kuanguka juya kukinyesha. Because but I'm believing God will do something. Amen. Uh I have this plot. These are plot of forty by eighty. Mm. I've been able to construct this house. Yes. While I'm staying. Yes. And uh, have a parking mm. kwa ile gari yangu ambao umeona. Yeah. Na hapa ndani tukiingia hey. atwezi tukakosa 1000 and something birds. Wow. In a 40 by 80. In a 40 by 80. So you have that's that's actually beautiful. Like yes. you can imagine how many people have a 40 by 80 yeah. even here in the country yes. and they just put a house alone. Even now I'm I'm playing God. Yeah. I get money Good. because after this house, Kuona Venya Iko, hey. I realized that I have something in me. Mm. I want to teach people on how to do farming. I was I want even to add more because Good. the demand is very high. Yes. So I'm playing God to give me money. Mm. I purchased another plot there. Yeah. That he I connects. Be, yes, he connects. I'm going to nine hundred thousand only. So nine hundred thousand. Yes. So the moment I put your pesa, mm. it will sawa. It will sawa. Yes. Let me take you back yeah. to the words your mom told you. Yeah. You have these fifty thousand. Yeah. Respect them. Yes. How, five, 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 so, fifty, fifty birds. Sorry, fifty birds. birds. Yeah. Respect them. Yeah. How has the journey been? Your chicken yeah. and what? What would you say? Ni, uh, you've told us the advantages. Yeah. What are the disadvantages? As uh, well? the disadvantages comes when you are doing in a deep re- in a deep litter method. Mm. Remember, we have talked about the stress management yes. feeding. So when you are feeding hundred birds using a deep litter method, mm. uh, you may use more feeds compared to using cages. Yeah. And uh, when you are feeding hundred birds using a cage, they need five bags per month only. 
and then you have a capacity to get 15000 net profit mm. per month mm. when you have 100 birds 100 birds yes okay. but now the challenge is quality the feeds you must have quality feeds yes you must have best breed of birds and also you must have good construction mm. how much are we selling a tray of egg today we are selling at 450 and for that hey yeah from 180 hapo ndio tumefika hapo ndipo tumefika sasa hivi na tunaenda <laughs> na tunaenda sasa hii wakulima sasa hii watu wenye wanaochi video eh. kama kuna kitu itasaidika people will complain about the government that is real but those people will not will not complain they are farmers munakafunga and they will not complain because of using strategy if you use a smart strategy when you are doing pig farming there is no regret mm. if you do a strategy smart strategy when you are doing a poultry farming there is no regret i've done pig farming for the last 10 years and uh, i can tell you like right now najaribu kutafuta pesa usiku na mchana nirudishe mm. ngurue mm. because i used to have them na saa hizi kona pesa ukitumia strategy poa yes, kuna I want pesa to, i want to add pigs and uh, mm. also do continue with poultry okay. because in this government what will benefit with you is farming it's farming, farming base all right yeah. let's talk about your wife yes. mary such an amazing yes. woman mary mary mm. we met at uh, that time i was uh, calling at uh, the college of banking yeah and uh, she was under a school uh, another college there called expert business college mm. and uh unajua ukua mlemavu sometime watu wanaona kama umeremaa kila pahali <laughs> so niko nikiteremka kwa lift pale chini francis Ni, nikaona kasichana pale juu na singetaka mchana akona makeup juu ningejua hiyo tuta compete na watu wale wengine <laughs> na tuge compete Yes, unajua ni vizuri kusema ukweli. Eh. Tunge compete juu hata hawa wenye mako hapa. Ana mwenye anaona anaona hii video. Eh. Akiona msichana ako na makeup, ako na figa sana, <laughs> wanaanza kubishana. Haya. So mi ni ningetaka kuangalia mwenye ana marafiki sana. So What? nikaenda nikamuongeresha. Na nilipomuongeresha akafurahishwa na mimi. Na ili nijue kama atanikubali. Eh. Eh that time unajua nilikuwa naacha hili cha pale chini. Uh-huh. Na pana na crutches. Eh. So ilibidi nipande na crutches anione. Sasa tulipotoka unajua saa nyingine angekaogopa kushikana yes. na mimi mabega tukienda hivi. Eh. Nikaona aogopi. So nikaona there is something inside this ready. Tukateremka pale alipo tuliposhuka kwa lift akaona wilcha. Nikamwambia sasa nataka unishikie crutches. Tufanya nini? Nipa, niingie hapa kwa wilcha. Niende kwa wilcha. Na akakubali. Tukaenda tukateremka na yeye kwenye nilikuwa na ka akaenda akaona kwangu tena karudi kutoka hapo eh, tukaanza tu maisha pole pole tukaongea so one day ikafika pahali masomo bado tunasoma na yeye anasoma anafanya accounts that time pia mimi nafanya accounts and nikasikia yeah, is the ready that i want lakini ningetaka kujua ama anakuja kwangu juu ya maybe kuvenya na niona ama kesho anitoroke cuz nilikuwa nimepitia we, wengine tunaongea mtu anakuambia anakuambia ah mimi istakangi watu wale mavu so inakuanga inakuanga stigma sana na huko nje wow uh, inakuanga stigma kwa watu disabled kupata wife atakupenda kama una ka kitu inakuanga ngumu wengine wanatakanga kupenda jua ka kitu <laughs> akule alafu aondoke <laughs> so huyu tulipopata na yeye nikamuonyesha ile biashara ya hukin lean we used kulala saa sita usiku tukijua kesho tuko class tukitengeneza ice cream we used to buy juice mm. tunaweka sukari mm. tunatengeneza ice cream na yeye mm. asubuhi before niende class naenda nauza na wholesale kwa maduka nikiuza na wholesale kwa maduka jioni tukitokea nikimaliza kusoma nachukua hizo wallpapers kama hizo zenye huwa zinasomesha watoto mm, mm. naenda na hang pahali so wakati wenye niliona ako sawa ndio wakati wenye niliona hakuogopa mambo kunisukuma na wilcha and we started the journey wow wande tukafukuzwa na Rad Road ambao sita isahau wande tulipofukuzwa na Rad Road sasa nikamwambia sasa nyumba za dhika zimetushinda what can we do akaniambia venye utaona ni vizuri ndio utafanya so tukaenda kishagi nilikuwa hey. nadhani unaona hapo ndipo maana nilikuwa sikuwa naangalia makeup mm. na watu wa town bontau 
Kwa hiyo ukimwambia kwenda Gishagi ingekuwa vita. So wakati wenye nilimwambia twende Gishagi alikubali. Nani wao wanaweza enda Gishagi? Ah, <laughs> Munazumbuana. Nani? <laughs> Munazumbuana. Lini sasa hii nikuambia ni kuenda Gishagi? Eh. Hata wewe sasa hii utakubali. Nani anakuambia mimi ni watao? Ah, nasema eh. sasa hii venye huko nikwambia uende Gishagi, eh. hautakubali. Hebu ni jaribu. Hautakubali. Ah, Nijumelia me occupy. <laughs> Ni jumeria me occupy ni kwambia uone ndio kubali. Ah sisemi huu ni jaribu ni kwa wapili nasema hebu oh, mwingine yeah. anijaribu. Oh, oh sawa. So wakati wenye wakati wenye Meria me occupy. Meria me occupy, Meria me occupy. Kuna kwenye anaenda. So wakati wenye unajua alizo yenye nasema Meria me occupy. You can't imagine mchana amekukubali kama ana nywele, ananyoa box. Saa hii Ukiangalia picha zake za kitambo na ukwambia saa hii alienda kwa watu wakashindwa na yeye. Wakashindwa ama ni yule Meri tu wenye walikuwa wamezoea. Meri alikuwa ananyoa box. Hakuwa na pesa ya kutengeneza nywele hey. so na ndio maana hiyo ndio nilikuwa natafuta hiyo ndio character yenye nilikuwa natafuta. Hey. So Meri tukakaa na yeye. Tukakaa na yeye tulipoenda Gishagi. Akakubali kuingia kwa kwa kuku na kwa ngurue by that time nilikuwa na ngurue kaanza kufagilia. Hey. Na saa hii kwa hii project I don't employ people. Na si mimi kukatana ningependa sana ye atakangi. So ye anasemanga na bikom yake yenye imelala hapa ye anataka kufanya ukulima ya kuku. Oh hiyo ndio bikom yes. yake hapo. Kwa sababu tulipotoka nyumbani mm. Lin I'm a living testimony. Yes you are. So wakati wenye nitoka nyumbani one day tukiruka mwaka nilikuwa nimeenda kesha. Mimi kila kitu yenye niko nacho hata leo before niipate huwa nauliza Mungu. So tukua kwa kesha nikuwa peke yangu niko nimemwacha nyumbani. Mm. Uh, wakati pasta anasemanga mtu aombe chenye angetaka. That time niliomba boma. Nikasema ningetaka boma. That time nilikuwa nakaa kigio. Mm. So ningetaka kutafuta pahali. And one day nikuwa kwa ofisi hapa Thika County nikakumbuka nimelala hivyo. Nikasikia nika sauti imeniuliza uliomba boma itakupata hapa. So nikachukua gari na nikaanza kutembea kwenda kutafuta prox. At first nikaenda na huku hapa 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 Wetaivia. Mm. Protest kawa very expensive. But when I was when, when I was coming back, going back to the office, mm. nikapatana na wanawake wangapi? Wawili. Hao wanawake wawili wakaniambia ni wape lift. Si ukata? Nikawapea lift. Nilipowapea lift, wakaniuliza ulikuwa umeenda wapi? Nikamwambia nilikuwa nimeenda kutafuta shamba na yenye nimeona mm. ainipendezi. Mm wakaniuliza unaweza taka kukaa pahali kumejengwa nikakumbuka pale kwa maombi nilikuwa nimeomba boma lakini siku specify ama ni shamba ama ni boma mm. so nikamwambia ningetaka so after meeting wakanipeleka wapi kuja kuona hii plot yenye ninakaa saa hii nilipokuja rin nikaona plot wakati wenye watu walikuwa nazunguka hivi mimi mm. niliingia kwa nyumba nikauliza bedroom ilikuwa hapa nikaomba nikaambia Mungu hii ndio nyumba yangu. Sasa kitu ya kuchangaza. Ilikuwa wakati wenye tulitoka na wao tukaenda back kuarudisha hadi Thika. Nilipoenda na Thika nikawauliza, "Mnaweza nipe namba ya mwenye boma?" Wakanipea. Na waliponipea namba, Lin, niliambiwa jamaa anaitwa Goge. Lakini pengine baba yako juu anaitangwa ni Goge. <laughs> eh hey, okay. Niliambiwa anaitwa Goge. But venye ni receive kwa simu hadi leo ni save nyumba yangu. Wow. Na nikampigia simu na nikaenda hadi Makoyo. You know nyumba plot ilikuwa inauzwaje? Mm. 2.7. Wajua Francis alikuwa na pesa ngapi? Nitakwambia. Eh. Tukafika hadi hapo kwake. Mm. Wakuwa amekaa na bibi yake, nikamwambia nimekuja, nimeona protocol please inaitwa Nyasafa na imenipendeza. Mm. Akaniambia plot nauza 2.7. Na akaniambia kama venye mzaji anasemanga nimeudizwa na watu wengi sana. Kwa hivyo hata 3.5 naweza uza. Eh. Mibi alikuwa ameona mtu wako na pesa. Tukaanza ku bargain. Nika bargain kutoka 2.7 hadi 2.3. Wow. Now the most surprising was pesa ya kulipa nyumba ili nianze kukaa. Ah, uh, akaniuliza what do you have? Nikamwambia one Everything happened with the reason. Mungu alikuwa anajua akinileta hapa. Mm. Na you remember, you remember before nifike pale kwake Makoyo, nilisimama kakuzi. Yes. Nikasimama nikaomba Mungu nikamwambia nikifika huko nipate umefika. Mm. Na, ku, na, ku, na kukosa. 
So nilipofika pale wakati mama bibi yake anapika chai huko akakuja akaniuliza jumu umeongea sana na mmefika 2.2 mm. hii nyumba kweni mna unataka kutulipa na jia gani nikawaambia sijui kama mtafurahishwa na mimi ama mtaona kama ni, ni kichwa imeruka mm. nikamwambia niko na nimependezwa na nyumba yenu nimekubali kutoa 2.2 but between me na wao wengine wote wenye wako huko niko na 10000 wa yes niko na 10000 out of 2.2 eh huyo bibi akaingia mzee akamfuata ili ilifanya nilie because sikuamini walipoenda hivyo alikuja na fungua akanipatia fungua akaniambia hata usinipe kitu kutoka leo enda ukae hiyo nyumba wakati wenye utapata pesa uniambie akanipatia fungua na nikatoka nilipotoka nikampigia simu sasa siku ya ambayo ilifuata nikamwambia hata kama ulinipatia nyumba pengine watoto wako wande watakuja kuleta shida ningetaka tuende pahali kwa wakili tuandikanie umenipatia nini nyumba so nikaenda na juu ya faith yake ya faith yangu tulipofika kwa wakili akaulizwa what is the final price ambayo unauza hii nyumba akaniuliza what can you get nikamwambia naona sina pesa lakini naona kama naweza pata 2 million akaniambia kama u, kama ni 2 million wakili andika 2.2 million so ikatoka 2.2 kaenda 2 million na tukaandika agreement ya nyumba ni 2.2 lakini nimejikomit na 10000 lean we started a journey na Mungu akamsaidia akanipea miaka mbili nilipe hiyo nyumba now here yes na nyumba yenye tunaongelelea ni ya four bedroom iko na perimeter wall na iko na hizi nyumba za yes so after that nilienda nikaanza nikaambia Mungu sasa umenipea nyumba nimepeana 10000 sina kitu nipe njia i was able to go to my account nikachukua 500000 nikaenda nikampe 300 nikampe 400000 100000 hii nyumba yenye alikuwa anatumia kama duka mm. nikaweka duka mm. so tukaanza hivyo uh, nikaenda nikakimbia uh, Hurichales pale Uganda nikawa position 1 tukikimbia kuna ile allowance huo unapewa mm. nikapewa 700000 nikakuja nikampe 500000 nikarisha ngurue na 200000 kwa hiyo nyumba yenyewe kwa hiyo hapa yenyewe alikuwa kuku after six months nikauza ngurue 700000 nikampatia nikaona nimebakisha 1.5 million nimemlipa 1.5 nimebakisha 500000 covid ikakuja biashara hakuna ngurue hakuna mtu ananunua akaniita akaniambia Francis sasa hii miaka mbili yenye tulikuwa tumeongea mm. ni kama imeisha mm pesa hiyo ingine umebakisha 1500 tutafanya aje na lean after kitu covid ilikuwa between hapo august mm. 2019 hapo december nikapata invitation ya kwenda Colombia nilipoenda Colombia nika participate powerlifting umeona muri venye iko yes ipo participate powerlifting allowance yangu yenye nilipata nilipata 700000 So on January nikaenda nikamlipa 500,000 and from that day prot nyumba ikawa yangu even ndivyo nilipata hii prot wow yes looking back what yes. unajiambianga nini ah uh, na si mimi mwenyewe nitaambia wewe na wengine wenye wana watch mm. video everything in this world happens. happens with a reason it is upon me or you to take it as a positive or negative when you take it as a negative you will keep on complaining when you take it as a positive you keep on enjoying mm. that's how i work
Amen. Yes. Nimeona you are a boy. Yes. You are son. Yes. Allow me to ask. Yeah. Knowing your dad left. Yes. And knowing right now you are raising a young boy. Yeah. What would you want to give your son? Yenyewe ukupata? I hope, sahi, mm. mm. mungu anabariki mtu na kitu yenye unataka na mtu mwenye ataku understand. One thing, uwa na fraizi yona sana na my son. Kwa sababu wata tukienda mkutano, shule, uwa na sama mi niende. Na umesikia hikuambia hapa, my father anaitua Francis Wakuku. Mm. He's proud of me the way I am. Hakuna siku wa mai niuliza, nini ulifanya migu. Lakini kitoke uwa kwa barabara kwa kanisa, Niko kwa kanisa, unasikia nga tatu wanakuja na kuangalia fani, wanakuliza nini ulifanya, na heu unawambia vizuri ni kufunjika, hili umanize? Mm, story. Hiyo story. Uh, my son sa hii yako, anenda grade 2. Anasomea hapa, ma, go on. Mm. Na kuna kitu moja niliambia mungu, hata nikikosa nini. Venye niteseka na masomo, asiwa iteseka. So unaendanga hivi na jaribu na ngengana mm. anapata pesa naweza kum, mm. kumsomesha. Mm. Ya pili, hii wiliche unaona hapa. So unaona kona bike yake ni membaya. Mm. Hii wiliche ya unapatanga na changa bike katembe na wiliche ya. Anapenda sana. Hata sayi nafaa kuwa kwa ofisi lakini na iwe kanga hapa ili ya enjoy. Two, my wife ambaye niko na ye alinipenda venye niko bila jina. Saa hii Venye niko, nyinyi muna kuja. Unajua mtu wakisikia Francis wa kuku, anaona milionea. Mm. Hakuna pesa, mm. lakini jina iko. Because I know after name, mungu anakujanga na jia zake, mm. unasaidika. Mm. Saa hii tukitoka hapa kwa, mbarabu, hapa kwa matope, asubui leo. Jukuruwa kuna nyesha, mm. nimekuwa nikitafuta pesa niweke kabro, nimekosa. So nikitoka nikatereza. Nilipotereza, niliona my wife ametoka huko, hakuja kanishikilia. That is the life I stay. Chenye, kama ni kitu kidogo tukona tunakula pamoja. Kama ni kingi, tunakula pamoja. Mm, anakushikilia. Kabisa, comfortable. Vizuri sana. Yes. yes. Yeah. Hapa ndani kwa kuku, mm. profit inakuja aje. Uh, Ningetaka ujikua kakirete yako, ili uweze kuonyesha. Unajua watu wanaiza sema, yes. ni hizi story za, za jaba. Ni, eh, ni zile story za jaba. Ama Sa, watu walini wanapenda kuwatch. Watu walini wanataka kuwatch nini. Sasa sijui nataka... watu walini kuwatch shows. Zalini ngugi sijui ni kuwatch. Ah, mm. Tuende story sasa, za jaba. Sasa, leta story za jaba. Sasa tutoke kwa story ya jaba. Ah, leta story ya jaba, Francis. Tufanye esabu ya <laughs> yes. kuku. Tufanye esabu. Na najua utast, utastuka. Yes. Nilikuambia kuku mia moja. Mm. Zinafaa kukula nguni ya. Tano. Tano. In a month. Gunia moja tuipe na 4,000. Mm-hmm. So that is? 4,000. 4,000 times 5. Yes. That is 20,000. Yes. Sasa umejua 20,000 ni chakula. Mm. Hizo kuku, hukumia moja, zinafaa kutaga 3 trays mm-hmm. per day. Mm-hmm. 3 trays per day. Per day. Na tray moja. Sahi tray moja tuuse na the cheapest price. Yes. For, for 30. For 30. Nipesa ngapi? For 30 times 3. 1290. 1290, sawa? Yes. 1290 multiplied by 30 juni mwezi. Mm-hmm. Na kuja ngapi? 38,700. Toa 20,000. Ah, okay. 18,700. Iyo ni net profit. Yes. Ya kukumia moja. Eh. Ni ajabu ama ni reality? Watu wa story za lean ni jabu. Okay. <laughs> Chani aje jokes. 18,700. Yes. Ukona kuku ngapi? Hapa ni kona kuku elfu moja. So times 10. Yes. So you get... Around 187 yes. in a month. You only like 190 yako 190. in a month. 190 na nisaidia. Sayo tumetua chakula. Yes. Na 190 na nisaidia kujaribu kulipa ile loan. Mm. Mbuka ni kona ya 2.5 mm. ya ya death ya cancer. Yes. Ndiyo najaribu kuyengana na ayo. Mm. Iri niweze ku, ku, ku kusimama. Nini. But you love your job? Sana. Hata ni miwa nafagiria. Mm. Ni miwa napea chakula. Naipenda sana. Mm. Hata ni kingia hapa. Siwezi ingia ni kose kuingia pale. Yes. Ata uwezi, that's nice. Siwezi ingia kwa nyumba yes. kama sijaenda kwa kuku. Hata mm. kue kuna nyesha haji, mm. siwezi. Umesema, the mm. biggest beneficiary right now kwa hii economy watakuwa mm. farmers. That is but the reality. for the longest time, watu wamekuwa wakidharau kazi kama hii. Because the, because the work wana strategy. Yes. You know, initially cage, ile expensive, ilikuwa mm. toka between 200,000. I, because of my disability, I'm able to import those things 
under exemptions. Mm. So I'm able to sell the cage the same cage ambayo ilikuwa inauzwa 200,000 I'm able to sell it at 45,000. Mm. A cage of 45,000 carries 128 birds. Wow. And because we are not blessed the same I have a half of that cage. Mm. At 30,000 mm. to carry 64 birds. Okay, nice. From there I have another small cage. For the yes. Yes, of 16 32 birds mm. at 25,000. Mm. I also have another small cage because of mutu boda boda and yes. hasra. Ambayo ni ya 15,000 ya 16 birds. Okay. Why do I, what do I want to tell you? If you invest your 150 or 200 and 250,000 you are able to get mm. your money back mm. uh, very soon and also because the birds that i have they live for a duration of two years mm, two yeah, years two years wow they live for a duration of two years mm. and uh, from there i'm able to, to help you for the with the market so after two years mse anafa kuzipika saa zikuwe nyama unanipigia simu eh. na kuletea mtu zinachukuliwa zote unalipiwa hapo kwa mlango na zikuwe nyama tu zikuwe nyama sasa oh zikuwe nyama yeah. okay but kiji zako utaachwa nazo because kiji yangu eh. inakaa more than 10 years oh good yeah. that's a value i have a team i hope umekuja umepata team ambao nimeemploy niona team Uh, ni vijana mm. kazi yao ni ku install those cages because mm. you have seen the ramu working yes. in county government. Oh hata hizo cages ni kupelekwa zinapelekwa. Hizo zinapelekwa client. Ni kwa gari ndani. Zinapelekwa client. Oh, okay. Ni cage moja ya kubeba kuku 128 eh. inapelekwa juja farm. Okay. Inapelekwa client amenunua. That's nice. So because ya queen convenience kazi yenye nafanya mm. kwa serikali. Yeah. I don't like to interfere sana na kazi nikose kuingia kwa ofisi. Mm. Kazi lazima mm. because pia wao wananipenda. Yes. Your passion yangu ya disability so, na kujikubali. Mimi ukipiga huko wife Mimi kazi yangu uko. ni secretary. Yes. Kazi yangu ni secretary. Nikikupe namba yangu my number is 0717 mm. 108 735. Mm. Ukiingia YouTube usearch Francis Wakuku. Yes. Ukienda TikTok usearch Francis Wakuku. In that in that in that number when you call kazi yangu mimi niko ku receive mm. ni ku advise venye unaweza lima Good. after you you are done with the payment natuma team yangu wanakamu wanafanya yes. beautiful and i do the follow up in yes. terms of market mm. chakula we have a company called farmers fresh company mm. ambayo iliona kazi yenye nafanya wakanichukua kama brother ambassador wa company oh really yes eh. i'm the brother ambassador of farmers fresh company eh. ambayo iko hapa keno eh. uh, wako na more than 50000 birds the reason why i joined them mm na huwa wanafanya delivery ya chakula country wide. Okay. So hakuna kitu ya kusema ati umeshindwa kulima. Mm. Ukitaka kukuimebakisha miezi mbili kutaga niko nayo baada ya kulicha kuwa vifaranga. Mm. Ukitaka chakula quality niko nazo. Niko nayo. Ukitaka kujengewa cages mm. niko na cages mm. original cages. Ukitaka kuziwa kujengewa warehouse niko nayo. Uko nayo. Ukitaka kupraniwa plot mm. niko na niko ni, najua kuplan. Okay. Ukitaka wafanyi kazi wa kufanyia project unajua kuna mtu anasema nataka kuweka kuku mm. sina mfanyikazi mm. niko na trained personnel Good. ya watu wenye wa kufanyia hiyo kazi Good. so kitu yenye unahitaji tu ni pesa and cha muhimu yes. disability is not uh, and whatever any other person can do mm. even me I can do it better i hope umeona kijana wangu venye anakaa yes. siko hard some very then kaba bake What, yes whatever sauba yako ni kunitamani <laughs> so uh, so whatever any other person can do on my side I can do it better. <laughs> <laughs> so so, so you know. Ah, so unataka so if it unataka tu kwanza hapa na mimi na Mary. Ah, nikusema. Unajua. Mary. <laughs> Kujia mtu wako. <laughs> yes. So, hiyo yeah. ndio maisha. Yeah. Na hivyo ndivyo kuko. Good. I love so, that. I will take you through. Unajua mm. umekuwa kumkuja kuona kuku. Mm. Kini pia umeona mtu hard some. Yes. Eh? Hey, hiyo <laughs> ni poa. Ajua hata ule akaulizwa eh. anaona jamaa hadi sam. Tunasema kama mnataka six pack. <laughs> Mimi niko na hadi eight pack. So sidhani hizo zingine zenye mnaenda kutafuta hapo. <laughs> Lakini bahati zilichukuliwa na meli. Zilichukuliwa na meli. I was just chilling so, man. Uh, so, so tuseme pia uko na comedy. Ah uh, si comedy, ni reality. <laughs> 
Miliarity. Mimi na ku appreciate sana. Thank you. And I hope njia zifunguke. Hiyo ndio maombi yangu hata mimi. Na asante sa, sana kwa even taking time. I yes. did not know hata vitu zimekufanyikia yeah. asubuhi but you still made it to True. be here. I ah, appreciate it. Sacrifice ni muhimu. Yes. Mimi na professor siku professor ina ku manifest ya plot next. Ah, God I come through. Amen. Upate hizi gigs. Yes. Wasewa kuite, yes. uwafanyie kazi yeah. na usweita kwa kitu ya bure. Wacha wacha wase wa kama wakupatie biashara wewe yes. uende uichape upate hiyo profit yeah. ukamu ujichukulie plo plot, plot. Yeah. Ni, una pia True. kama maybe kuna mtu anataka mm. hatutasema mtu asiku mm. asiku jesi mm. yeah. eh, francis wakuku mm. tiktok YouTube. pale youtube namba ya simu namba ya simu ni hiyo 0717 yeah. 108735 okay. i know there are those people wenye mm. wako i know even there are those companies yes. wenye wanatakanga kusaidia watu Good. Hakuna mtu nimefungia. Mm. Because lean my future and my dream. Mm. Ningetaka one day watu wale wale mavu na watu wenye hawana wazazi niwe ni mimi nimewaccommodate. <laughs> yes. Like now kuna mtu nilipigia simu jana. Mm. I want to employ watu kutoka children's home. Yes. Because one thing that I have realized they are very disciplined. Mm. Na utampea kazi na, na atafanya kwa bidii. Na wakati wenyewe anajisaidia mm. umesaidia society. Good. Mimi ukiniambia ni kufanyie kazi huwa na kutumia videos mm. na hata nikifia kwenye na kuonyesha transparency nimefanya niwe kwa industry. Beautiful. Yes. Me I appreciate you. Thank you. Na asanti also to welcome home yes. lakini saa usiseme mimi nimeleta competition huku huko Uwezani. Mm. I know. Yo yo I bet I tell you. Wewe sasa hivi nikikwambia tukatengeneza ice cream utakubali. <laughs> Niko nataka kusema aje mm. sako zinajua kwa huko aski mm. na ndio hii kamera hapa yes. akiwatch ungetaka kumwambia nini So what I can tell you my dear wife hey. Mary Jerry I love you and I treasure you Yes And the reality is the way you loved me without this big name continue loving me that way and na upende hadi watoto wetu na tuwe kio cha jamii mm. Akinalin na wengine family zao wanakuja kusika advice kwetu. Okay. Yes. Hey, Nilikuwa nadhani unarusha tena jabu. Ah, nimesema hey, umeni... unakuja kusika okay. advice venye maisha iko. Okay. And those ladies wenye mko iko nje, acha niongelelee watu wenye wako na ulemavu. Those ladies wenye mko hapo nje, ukitaka marriage yenye haina vita, tafuta mlemavu. The reason why naambia ladies wenye wako nje watafuta wale mavu. Hey. Ni kwa sababu sasa hivi mnaanza kusema kuna permanent. Mnazita zingine aje? Ah mimi sijui. Wanaitangwa permanent. Kuna side chick. Verified. 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 Hizo zote. Eh. Ukitaka kuona permanent ama verified ni disabled. Kwa sababu disabled akitoka hapa, atuseme ameenda rojini ya Dhika. Ataogopa kesho kuonekana na kesho kutwa. Mimi nikienda sasa hivi kuanza kuonekana watu wataona crutches zikipanda juu. Huyu jamaa mwenye ako abroad sasa hivi akiona kadem kengine pale kwa barabara anakachukua na anakahag kesho hata rudi kwako lakini huyu mlemavu ako hapa ya pili nguvu iko si umeona tuko na eight packs utaenjoy tafuta disabled men na utaenjoy Francis, mimi yeah. nitakupia ka segment hapa pia. Yes. Ni cha ni muhimu nguvu ah, iko. Ah, nguvu iko. Mm. Tuna sema wase wenye wako able differently hakuna ma players. Ah, uh, what? Able differently? Eh. Disabled? Eh. Ni ngumu. Unless upate mtu akona by the way, kuna wenye wanao hadi wasichana wangapi? Watatu. Watatu. Na hiyo family imesimama. Eh. Yes. Okay. Do research. Nishaelewa. Ukikuja video ya pili tukiweka kablo. Eh nitakuonyesha nitakuonyesha sawa basi and research na ni research yes. asante sana so watu watupenda huko nje mm. disability is not inability Good. and whatever any other person can do mm. on my side and other disabled people mm. can do it better mm -hmm. and in an excellent way yeah so mkuja tufanye ukulima yes mkuja tufanye farming pays mm. i'm always here as an advisor every day hapa kuna kujanga na watu na kuja kuwa train mm. You remember farm zile zingine uwezi ukaingia yes. juu ya biosecurity. Yes. Kwangu hata ukitoka pale nje ukuje uingie nitakufunza. Kwa sababu kuna pale nitakwambia kuko ziko na shida. Mm. Kwa watu wenye wanalima kukuza nyama. I know mmekuwa na challenge ya chakula. 
I have a new method, battery cage system for mm. broilers, whereby I broil mature with uh, uh, four weeks, attaining a weight of 2.5 kg. Good. So, reach me there. That is my number, 0717 mm. 108735. Call anytime. Wife anaelewa. Hata usiku za US. Eh. Na muambia ni pesa tunata. Tunatafta. Na tunasaidia wa. Watu. Na hiyo diosiri. Good. Eh? Yes. Asa so, elewa. tanipea mayai ni enda nazo homo. Wacha mayai. Eh. Hapa kuangu ukikuja, kitu ya kwanza mayai kukura ni free. Na kununua, unabeba. Hapa mayai kukura ni free. Oh, so lazima ni kulia hapa. Ukitembea hapa, unakula. Eh. Hafu kinunua, tunakuzia. Una... Oh. Atalizo na bupraizo oh, okay. na beba. Atabu. Advantage ya mayai ya cage. Egg. Yoki na kuanga hero. Mm. Achana watu wanashinda wakizema kununua chakula na huko inja wakatengeneze hero yoko. Yangu chakula. Ukitumia cage, egg yoki itakuwa hero. Itakuwa hero. Na duina itajika kwa watu wa bakeries mm. na watu wa inayote. Okay. Yeah. All the best. Thank you. Godspeed. Kuna kitu ingine? Sema. Apana. Mm. Yes. Alright. Ambia watu wangu bye. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you for subscribing. Yes. Lin, uh, Lin Show. Yes. Na wacha ni waambie. Everything happened is the reason. Mm. Lin, there was a reason for you to have this platform. Yes. I believe it will benefit many people. It will educate many people. Amen. And also, many lives will be changed through this mm. platform. Mm. Continue with the same spirit. Thank you. God bless you. Yes. Enlarge you. Yes. In future, have even a school. Mm. For those people that you have been taking video to them, mm. for them, mm. they come and try encouraging people. Good. You have a good show, a TV show. We come and encourage people. Mm. Sasa isiwe recording. Mm. Tunakuja live. Tuna encourage. And that is the what I have prophesied for you. Amen. And uh, believe in. Mimi yes. ni mtu hule wakusema na kutenda. Mm. Na itakuja. Amen. Na wakati wenye itakuja, usinisahau. Suezi. Unite, ukuje, yes. uniajiri hapo. Mm. Nikuja niongaresha watu wa remba. Takuita. Yes. Wewe na you are verified. I'm verified. Tuko sawa. Tuko sawa. Sawa. Sinti yo? Yes. All right. Sawa. Guys, wa? <laughs> I want to know what you've learned on today's conversation. Francis is a vibe, guys. His contact details are right here on the screen. I can't imagine what it would be to just make a cool, good profit on a 40 by 80 ukitumia a good strategy. That's my take home. And of course, to see the rawatu, disability also is not in ability. And I keep saying, trust the process. Team Maridadi Motors, thank you for bringing us here. Thank you for trusting the process, Nasisi. I love that now they are driving the process. And I keep saying, if you want to get yourself a car, why don't you visit Team Ya Eric Pale, Ya Maridadi Motors. And congratulations for all the awards you guys are bagging. It is not in vain. You guys have put in the work. So when I see you guys winning awards, I'm really happy for you guys because you really have an amazing soul. Tumefanya so many CSR projects together and I can't wait to see what next year has for us. So mkitaka gari endeni maridadi, mkitaka car wash, mkitaka duve zifuliwe, carpet zioshwe, endeni sparkling. If you want to take your kid for a driving school, and a maridadi driving school. And of course, if you want to invest in a smart way, they have an investment investment plan for you guys why don't you check them out i'm really excited on how the year is coming to an end you guys you've been absolutely amazing thank you so much for taking your time loving our work 800k subscribers here we come i don't take it for granted my team shukran sana for always coming through and i keep saying if you want to share your story info at digital that's where i am i'm a mimo nyewe nitakupata venye nilipata fra Francis, si ni ukweli. Yes. Si lazima utume email. Sometimes pia mi mwenyewe nakupa, nakupata. The spirit leads me, puts me in connection with you and I end up guys doing an incredible show for you. Tuona neni kesho guys? 10 and also, yes. And also I would like to add yeah. on the issue of Maridadi Motors. Yes. First of all, I to thank them mm. oh. because there is one thing that they did. Yes. Ambao ilisaidia sana mle mm. one of the disabled guy. Yeah. Wakati wenye ulikuwa napeana gari. Yeah. You know, whenever you help people, God also come through. Yes. What I want to tell them, ni kupanda walipanda. Mm. Let them wait for the harvest. Amen. And they will harvest in a big way. Yes. They will harvest in a big way. Mm. Like me right now, I have that challenge of a car. Mm. You have seen the car that I'm yes. using. It's an old. Mm. But the car that I want is just a vanet truck. Mm. A very small, a mm. truck that mm. can be used like a pickup. Yes. 
because one automatically modified to be my disabled mm. disability friendly mm. na kataweza kunisaidia mm. so nitajaribu I'll visit them yes nikuja nisikie terms zao mm. na hata wakiona waseme wa surprise Francis wa kuku wa surprise itakuwa inaenda imeandikwa maridadi Francis wa kuku maridadi Francis wa kuku wewe Eric umesikia story maridadi yes. na Francis wa kuku yes waambie Eric yes yes uh, he's my brother na unajua, na unajua naendanga mbali eh. naendanga mbali so watu watajua kuna maridadi, maridadi. Yes. Good. Eh? Yeah. The kind front is yes. always a maridadi. Yes. I am out guys. See you tomorrow 10 a.m. Eric Ameskia, that's my big brother. Yes. So, anasikizanga na na watching show na na joy memfiki. Nimemfikia, si ndio? Peace yeah. out guys. Love and appreciate you. Tuona nani kesho tena at 10 a.m. Bye. So trust the process. One day your life is gonna change. Keep on believing.